Imperial Mal B. That means you're on the right track. Now, the minus sign will let you switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And the plus sign will let you swap from Max to Eco. You can also use the settings button to toggle between power levels. A quick press lets you cycle between medium, the M, or high, the H, for max cooling. Or you can set L for low to cool on Eco mode. Eco mode takes a little longer to cool, but makes the battery last a lot longer as well while medium and high are better for dropping the temperature fast. So we're going to cycle to max mode, and then we'll set it to low to keep it cool. Once your settings are ready, it'll flash for a few seconds before setting. Now, let's drop the temperature. First, you quick press the settings button to use the plus and minus button to adjust the temperature. I like my ice cream super cold, so I'm going to set it all the way down to zero degrees. But you can go even colder, all the way down to negative eight degrees. And then you're done. The solar go fridge will do the rest of the work. Now you're ready to keep your food, drinks, and medicine cool without ever needing ice. And when you're ready to go, just like a regular cooler, pull the plug at the bottom to drain any water or condensation buildup. Then you can pull up on the handle here and roll your solar go fridge out to your car or campsite. That's all I have for you today. What will you put in your solar go fridge? Thanks for watching. As much as God hates to see our pain, he knows that sometimes pain is necessary for our ultimate joy. We must occasionally experience losses in order to grow. God knows exactly what we need and at what time we need it. We just have to trust him. We just have to let him work in the way only he can do. Because we have all the blind spots areas of our life that are unhealthy or toxic to our relationship with God. And we don't even realize it. But in His mercy, God steps in and removes those things for us. And He replaces them with something better. So right now, if you're going through a loss, if you're going through a season of disappointment, consider the possibility that God is answering your prayers in an unconventional way. Consider the possibility that through this loss, He is rearranging your life. Through this loss, He is strengthening you. Through this loss, He is leading you to better. God doesn't always answer our prayers the way we want but he always gives us exactly what we need.